Ooh. Let me try that again. <laughs> okay, that looked dumb. That looked dumb. Okay. Fix my hair. I'm gonna look in the mirror. Okay. Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about your season of singleness and loneliness. And yeah, I know that singleness can be kind of hard or lonely and you just don't know what to do because all you think about is a relationship that you desire and you want. So what I'm going to be talking about is what I believe in, which comes from the Bible. And I'm not talking about just dating around, I'm talking about dating to get married. I have four different points that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So the first point is thankfulness. Be thankful for the season you are in right now. I cannot tell you guys this enough. Just be thankful. I know that being thankful for the season you're in and what's going on in your life right now can be kind of hard because you're just like not happy with what's going on in your life. But find the small things that you're thankful for and find the things that God is doing in your life. The way I think of it is if we're complaining and constantly aren't thankful for what God is doing in our life right now, we're basically telling God, God, I'm not thankful for what you're doing in my life right now and you can do way better. So just be thankful for the season you're in and find the good things that are in your in the season. And I know that every season happens for a reason. And even though something that you might think is no point and you think that the season you're in has no purpose and no point, I promise you that it does and you live life forward and understand it backwards. So the verse I have is 1 Thessalonians 5.18, give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. The second point I have is growing, become the person that you are looking for, is looking for. So basically develop the qualities that you're looking for in a person and yourself. If you're looking for someone who doesn't get easily angered, who doesn't lie, but then you struggle with those things, then why would your future husband be looking for that in yourself? I do believe that we're going to be growing in every single seasons of our lives and we're never going to be perfect people, but we can use this time of our singleness to focus on the things that we can better for ourselves and be more like Jesus. My verse for this is Philippians 1 6 being confident of this that he who began a good work in you will carry it to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. My third point is patience and focusing on God during your times of loneliness. I know that sometimes when like you're just sitting in your bed and you're feeling super lonely the thing that helps me is to spend time with Jesus, spend time with with friends, spend time with family. I know that friends and family and God can really help our mind get off of being so fixed on being in a relationship. And also if you're constantly finding yourself lonely and you just go watch romance movies or watch wedding videos or go stalk the perfect couple on Instagram, that is not going to help your desire even more. more. Like that's gonna help your desire to go even higher instead of like not focusing on that, if that makes sense. And like I said earlier, focus on your now instead of being obsessed over the idea of being married and being in a relationship. Focus on how you can be more like Jesus, on how you can serve others, and how you can grow a servant's heart, and all of those things. My verse for this is Colossians 3.12, Therefore as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves in compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. My fourth point is trust and to not act on the emotions of singleness and loneliness. I know that sometimes when we're feeling really lonely, we might go sign up for some dating apps or go DM a bunch of guys on Instagram or go to the club and instead focus on God during that time. And I also know that a relationship that God is behind will come naturally. Something that I think is really cool is think of a mountain, like a triangular mountain, you're in one corner and your future husband is in the other corner. Let's just say you guys aren't focusing on God and you're just focusing on wanting to be in a relationship. Then you guys are never going to meet each other, you're just going to be constantly focusing like on each other and you're not going to make it to the top. But if you guys are focusing on God, like let's just say your future husband's focusing on God, he's going to start climbing up the mountain. And then when you start focusing on God, you're going to start climbing up the mountain and eventually you guys are going to meet to the top. So instead of focusing on your loneliness, it may lead to something that's not necessary. Just focus on God instead. 
And then my verse for this is Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And the last thing is if you are in a relationship where you just don't feel peace or you feel constant anxiety or your family doesn't like them, get out of the relationship. I know that it can be hard to break up with somebody and you may not want to because you may be scared or you just are afraid that you're not going to meet somebody ever again. I promise you that if you just focus on God that everything and all of your desires will come into place. Just trust in him and know that he is good all the time. Also, don't change who you are because you think that's how the guy likes it or because you think a guy will like you better if you act a different way. Be yourself and be confident in who you are and who Jesus made you to be. I hope these four points helped you guys and if you guys ever need a friend to talk to Jesus about, I'm here. Follow me on my Instagram, DM me, comment on this video and I will love to talk to you guys about Jesus and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!